Hey guys, this is Effective Kill for a quick video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the one part of the Star Wars that I've gotten up. I've been having a lot of errors and issues with my laptop due to the fact that um, basically I cannot afford to purchase Adobe for school, so I'm forced to keep my laptop on to run Adobe in the background. It's really annoying and it puts a lot of strain on my laptop and I don't like doing that to my laptop. It puts way too much strain on it. Uh, but here's the quick thing. You, I'm very excited about the Star Wars game and the beta made it even better. I had one grievance and that was with the flashpoints and the fact that you can't cancel a flashpoint if you are too low level and you accidentally started. If I get part 3 up you'll see me fucking rant and rave about that for 10 minutes about me just angry about that part. But here's an idea. One thing that I really would like them to do is the chance that they've never really gotten this in Star Wars that much is kind of the fact of switching sides midway through. Mostly based around the Sith and Jedi. Um, you could probably do it for the Imperial agents and the bounty hunters or the smugglers or the uh, the um, the troopers. Yeah, but wouldn't it be kind of cool? Like I'd start out as a Sith. I'm I'm going the full Marauder path. I like the D I like how I get the DPS, and it works. I'm not a big force hitter. I'm mostly a hit, do a lot of damage while the tank absorbs the damage while I'm hitting the guy in the back. But it'd be kind of cool if due to the fact of like forming a guild, like um maybe it'd be called I don't know uh, Renegades or something like that. I know that's stereotypical name, but it'd be the basis of kind of they were Sith, but for some unknown reason, they switched to Jedi side. Unbeknownst to a lot of the Jedi who don't know that they were Sith beforehand, or if they do, they've really believed that they have. And after the Jedi's training is fully through, they get a three-pronged choice. They can either go back to the Sith and take the Jedi secrets that they've gained with them to get them a lot more Sith power and influence. They can do the same with the Jedi and do the Sith things and gain more Jedi-based powers. Like, um, Sith-based powers would probably be lightning, heavier attacks, Jedi may be more defensive-based. Or the third one, where they can gain power in both, but they lose tons of influence with the dark side and the light side. Pretty much the payoff is they get a lot of cool stuff for Jedi and Sith, but they're not really affiliated with either group. I don't know how that would work, but it'd be more of, they're Jedis or Siths for hire. Give me... Give me guys your opinion. Do you think this could work? Do you think it would not work? Uh, answer in the comments. I'm really curious. To know. This is something I've been milling over for a while, and I thought it'd be kind of cool if you could... You, you wouldn't have to go the three-pronged path or even going that far, but the fact that you could switch sides midway through, like... If you're playing a Sith, but he's an extremely good Sith, in a sense you're taking all the light side decisions, and you get to a certain point where it's like... Uh, level, I don't know. Let's say there's ten levels. I, I've only, I only got to level two with my dark side guy, and that was getting up to level 18. <coughs> but, um, let's say level five, you get the chance if lights, if you're going for light side with any, with a Sith, you basically can get the chance to, you're, you're kind of confronted by a Jedi who's seen your actions, and is gonna offer you to go more over to the J light side. You can either accept, or kill him, and it pretty much resets you to zero. But, I don't know. That's just a toss-up. Give give me your guys' opinion. I'm curious to see if this would work or not. Uh, yeah. So that was basically the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm really hoping this video doesn't get copyright striked or copyrighted by Xbox Live TV. If you don't know, they're a fake. They're pretty much a real channel, but seeks to kill all smaller-based um, walkthroughs. That I've talked with a lot of people that have been in common with that and X. Media Digital, all those other groups that pretty much go after small-scale YouTubers because they think it's easy. They never go after really big ones because they know they'll get fucking killed off. Like, if Xbox Live did that to, I don't know, let's say Nova. Nova's pretty powerful. That group of creatures, like the uh, the starting creatures. I know Nova was was one of the founders. I think Kucher may have also been, but I'm not sure. Seamus, I think, was a later one, but it all depends. But... Yeah, and there's your bit of copyright, uh, anti-SOPA and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.